Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. This is He Speaks with Green Rocker. We are back, man, I'm having fun. Hey, uh, we got a lot of things going on in the world. Uh, we got some sponsors, we, we got a couple sponsors this week. Hey, we're sponsored this week by this page right here at the bottom of the ground, ussaferproducts.com, ussaferproducts.com. Hey, if you need some safe, cleaning products, Go check this web page out. Uh, it's a funnel to get you to the, uh, the correct page. Put your information in. They're going to link you up with a person that's going to give you a 10 minute uh, little overrun of the products. And they can get you in for just $1 membership right now. USSaferProducts.com. Y'all go check that out. But hey, he speaks this week. We got some good word for y'all. Uh, it's a lot of bad stuff out there. So we're going to call this one Know the Right Word this week. Know the right words. You got to know the right word. When you level up, you don't want to level up and then get connected to the wrong circle, wrong people, wrong group, wrong uh, anything. So you need to know the right word. So I'm going to give y'all some Bible verses that's going to help you know you're on the path of some things that's going to let you know how you got that right word. Amen? Amen. Come on, y'all. Let's see. Um... Before I get started, hey, let's go ahead and put the phone number down now. Let's put the email down now. Uh, Shock the World Love Ministries, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, follow us on all of them. And uh, if you got donations, send them in. Uh, we are a nonprofit organization. We'll get that uh, tax deductible uh, receipt back to you real quick. So uh, come on, y'all. Let's see. All right, so we're going to know the right word. Let's start off. I got a starter one. I ain't even gonna. We're gonna do a quadruple biblically. We're gonna do four Bibles. We're gonna go. We're gonna read out the King James, the New Living Testament, uh, the uh, Common English Bible, and the uh, the NIV. The NIV. Uh, uh, the uh, the the starter verse is gonna be Psalms forty six and ten. Now, if y'all wanna go with me, you can go with me. But uh, it's just a starter verse. Uh, it says, "Be still." And know I am God, and I will be exalted among the heathen, and I will be exalted in the earth. That lets you know you ain't even got to believe in God. When he get ready to do his thing, you will exalt him whether you are heathen, believing or not. You heard me? You know what I'm saying? I like verses like that. God lets you know, uh, you ain't got to be a Christian to get this thing. You can get it too. <laughs> Baby, I love it. Come on, y'all. Let's go. All right, now let's go on to the word for this week. We're going to go to, uh, now see, I was skipping along in my notes here. We're going to go to Proverbs, Proverbs 25 and 19. Proverbs 25 and 19. 25 and 19, Proverbs. Y'all with me there, say amen. Now, trusting a treacherous person at a difficult time is like having a bad tooth or a wobbly foot. Let me tell you, America, it is a difficult time. Excuse me. Choosing this president is crucial because it's a difficult time. And if we trust a treacherous person, I ain't naming no names, but trusting a treacherous person right now, is not the thing to do. You ever had a wobbly foot? You ever had a bad tooth? You got a bad tooth and that tooth ain't hit you? Man, you can't think straight, huh? Anybody ever had one? Woo! A wobbly foot? I ain't never had a wobbly foot. When I had pins in my hip and I done broke every uh, a joint in my lower body but my right hip. So I know what it feels like to have something wobbly not quite right. You can't do what you do. You can't make the moves you normally make. You can't operate the way you want to operate. We have to make sure we're trusting the right person. Huh? Let's go. Let's go to the, uh, that was the common English Bible. Uh, let's go to the King James. King James says, 25-19, confidence in an unfaithful man in a time of trouble it's like a broken tooth or a foot out of joint. Uh, uh, did you hear? You ain't even got to agree with him. Do you have confidence in an unfaithful man? Is your candidate faithful? Do we have a faithful candidate? Sometimes I ask myself. <laughs> but having confidence in an unfaithful man right now is not the thing to do. Let's go. New Living Testament. 
putting confidence, 2519, our new limit testing, putting confidence in an unreliable person in times of trouble is like chewing with a broken tooth and walking on a lame foot. Now, it's one thing to have that broke tooth, but you know better than to chew on that side. You chew on that side, good lord, the pain. Woo! It's one thing to have a, a lame foot, broken foot, but if you got to walk a mile on it, Lord Jesus, that normal mile just turned into a country mile. Woo! Good Jesus. Come on, y'all. NIV 25, Proverbs 25 and 19. I like this one. Like a broken tooth or a lame foot is reliance on the unfaithful in the time of trouble. You just can't rely on the unfaithful when it's time, when it's back against the wall. When my back against the wall, I don't call acquaintances. I call my homeboys that ride or die. Uh huh? Huh? Because it's, it's trouble time. I ain't got no time for calling them little fat weather friends. I need somebody when I call them, it's two in the morning, they just getting out the bed and coming with that thing. Huh? Because I don't normally call you for this. You know if I call you, I need you. Get you. Huh? That's what friends do. Shout out to all my friends out there, man. Uh, let's go, y'all. Uh, let's go. We still in Proverbs. We're going to go back. We're backtracking a little bit. Let's go Proverbs 4, and we're going to read 5 and 6. Proverbs 4 and 5 and 6. See, the thing is, once you level up, you got to make sure you are learning along the way. Uh, the reason why people get a lottery uh, money and then two years later they're back in the same economic uh, state they was before is because they didn't grow. See, people have heard it said that it's not the destination, it is the journey. On that journey, you learn some things. And if you get to that destination without learning those steps, you may miss your promise and your blessing because everything you learn on the way to your destination will be needed when you get there in that time. Amen? Amen. Come on, y'all. Proverbs 4 and 5. Y'all with me that say amen. Let's go to NIV first. NIV says, get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget my words or turn away from them. Do not forsake wisdom. She will protect you. Love her. And she will watch over you. See, wisdom will protect you from that foolishness. It'll keep you out of that uckery. You, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it'll keep you out of that, 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 that woolly lump lump uh, life. Uh, it'll keep you out of that woolly foo foo, boo boo. You know? It'll keep you out of that, that, that fifth, four, and fifth. It'll keep you out of that, uh, that, that okay doke. It'll keep you out of that, that uh, uh, I'm about to say that, uh, that, that, that womp womp. All that. It'll keep you out of all that. It'll keep you out of all that wisdom. But you gotta, you gotta use the wisdom. It say not just get wisdom, you have to get understanding. You have to understand. Sometimes you have to understand being right doesn't always mean being validated. Being right doesn't always being, mean being cheered for. Being right doesn't mean you have a, 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 a cheerleading section all the time. Sometimes being right means being alone. Y'all hear me? Sometimes being right means being alone. And I don't mean in a relationship, I mean being along in the way you think or the way you are. Because the masses doesn't always know. Amen? Amen. Come on. King James. King James say, get wisdom. Get understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not. For she shall preserve thee. And love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom will keep you, as long as you love it. That means if you love it, you're going to be getting it. See, when you love something, you'll never stop it. You'll always be searching for it, looking for it. You got to have it. Mm? I love music. I'll never stop doing it till the day I die. I love roofing. I'm going to stop roofing one day, but I'm going to still have a roofing cover. Yeah, amen. Amen. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, 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 Proverbs 4 and 5. New Living Testament. NLT. Come on. Get wisdom, develop good judgment. Don't forget my words and turn away from them. Don't turn your back on wisdom. She will protect you, love you, and guide you. See, I don't care what degree I get, I gotta balance it with word. I can get all the knowledge out in this world I want to. I gotta take that back what I get and balance it with this word. 
Because this word is going to give you that good judgment, that discernment on what to take, what's fake, what's real, what you need, what you need to worry about, what's not there. See, the thing you need to realize about God, you can pray about everything. You can be ready for everything you know. But he knows what you don't know. And when you got a partner like that, good God, you got a partner. Huh? You ever played spades and didn't know your, your partner was cutting? And you throw out that little uh, 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 jack of clubs on top of that uh, seven of hearts that's now finna win? And he... That man ain't nothing like that. Man, that's how God is. He is a cutting partner. When you didn't know he was cutting. Amen. Amen. Come on, y'all. Come in English Bible. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Don't forget to turn away from his words. Don't you forget to turn away from his words. Some of you get so much money. You get so much power. And now you forgot God. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't abandon her. She will guard you. Love her and she will protect you. If you love something and it don't protect you, it don't guard you, well, you loving the wrong thing. Amen? Amen. Come on, y'all. Proverbs. I'm, I'm, I'm going backwards. And under, where we at? We're going to go. We're skipping all the way around here. Proverbs 024. Four. I'm country. Let's go to 4. <laughs> 23 and 24. Proverbs 4, 23, 24. When y'all that with me say amen. King James will read not a keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of it the issues of life put away from the a forward mouth, a forward mouth, and perverse lips put far from thee. I looked up forward. I'm dyslexic. I was looking for forward and it was forward. Dyslexic joke. It was hard. I was up. It was late last night. So uh, forward is the Hebrew word meaning perverse. Perverse meaning uh, of a person or their actions. Showing a deliberate and obstinate desire to have in a way that is Unreasonable or unacceptable, often in spite of the consequences. I hate to tell you, Republicans, but it sounds like they 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 describing our president. I'm gonna say it one more time. I know some people are gonna get mad. I'm just saying, perverse. I'm not saying this is Trump, but he got some perverse ways of uh, of a person that their actions showing a deliberate. An obstinate desire to have in a way that is unreasonable or unacceptable often in spite of the consequences we have seen him time and time again make decision after decision despite the evidence or despite the studies or he wants to skew the studies and have them come to his house instead of letting us go where we normally see where the studies go those things is why it's hard to trust him right now in this hard time. This is why we need revolution now. This is why things need to change. And I ain't saying it's all on Trump, and I ain't saying he can't be part of the revolution either. God can touch him any day. Pop, I hope he do. Because mm. <laughs> if he win this thing, he gonna all we're going to have. And we're going to have to deal with him somehow. So amen, whoever in that thing, you get ready for a change. Amen? Come on, y'all. Let's go. Uh, NL, uh, N, uh, new limit testing. NLT. Come on. New limit testing. Uh, guard your heart above all else. He said above all else. Guard your heart. He didn't say get bread. He didn't say work 42 hours. He didn't say uh, 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 above all else. You guard your heart. You know why? For it determines the course Excuse me. Of your life. Your heart determines the course. Not how, they say it's a man. Think of he also be. That's how you're going to be. But your heart will determine the course of your life. What you love. Show me a man's heart. Show me a man's money. I will show you his heart. 
If you show me what you spend your money on most, I will show you that's what you love the most. Man, if you put your more money in your hobbies than you do your house, then you love your hobbies more than the house. If you spend your money on your mistress more than your wife, you love your mistress more than your wife. If you spend it on your car more than your kids, you love your car more than your kids. I'm sorry, show me a man's money, I will show you his heart. Amen? Come on. NIT. Hold on, I ain't finished with that one. On 24. Avoid all perverse talk. Stay away from corrupt speech. See, corrupt speeches. I saw Paula White, and I, I, I really adore Paula White. I thought she was a pretty cool preacher up until I seen this, and it's from a year ago. She preached for Trump, and some of the things she said crossed the line, I felt like. And, and that's just my opinion. I felt like she crossed the line. It's one thing to be political, but you can't mix your political views and say, God, pray against the other side like the other side doesn't have a valid point. The other side is not the enemy. The other side is just the other side because we've got two parties and we need to change that. But the other side is not the enemy. The enemy is the devil. And when you speak like that and use God's name, it, it, it makes you the devil at the time, sister. It makes you the devil because you're now twisting God's word for your own agenda, and that is exactly who the devil is. And that's sad that, that pastors and preachers and, and ministers around the world would do that for agenda because my life is not mine. I wish I would try to put my agenda. I, they just so happen to be some of the things that I love because God knows it's in his best interest to have me doing what I love because when I love something, I ain't stopping. You know what I'm saying? I ain't stopping. It's forever. It might uh, have a dry smell, but it's forever. I promise you that. Hey, man, come on, y'all. Uh, NIV. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're NIV. They say, above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Everything you do flows from your heart. You might think it. Uh, I, I, I just say that, man. I don't really mean it. Out of the abundance of a heart, a mouth overflows. Stop saying if you don't mean it because eventually it gets in your heart. The Bible says you should hide this word in your heart. When you hide it in your heart, it's in there. Anything you put in your heart, that means the devil can't even get to it. You hide it in your heart. He don't know where to find it to get to you, huh? Amen. Come on now. Uh, and 24, keep your mouth free of perversity. I told you what perverse means. Keep corrupt talk from your lips. Hey. I, I tell people all the time, if you don't repeat something you know to be false, don't repeat something you know to be wrong, even in meme or, or, or joking. Sometimes you activate some things by speaking it again, you're giving it power, and you don't know who takes that interpretation with sound bites and stuff we got these days. Don't say it again if you don't believe it. Do you know, if you know it not to be true, stop saying it. Unless you're saying it and point that this is wrong and pointing out that it is wrong. Don't just say it and joke and mean. Y'all let memes control your life. Some of you got so many memes on your posts, that is your life now, huh? You have become the meme. And now we're just laughing at you. Hey, Amen. Come on. CB, more than anything, you guard, protect your mind. For your life flows from it. 24. And keep to, uh, corrupt talk from your lips. Having nothing to do with corrupt, with a corrupt mouth. And keep devious lips far from yours. Devious lips. See, when you speak bad, you got devious lips. Some of y'all lips are devious. <laughs> but, uh, you need to keep it far away from it, man. Don't listen to it. You know, the old hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. You know what I'm saying? It's as simple as that. If you listen to that boy too long, it gets into your ears. Now you say it again, it's out your mouth. You say it too many times, it's in your heart. It's in your heart, now it's in your actions. Guess what? Now you got some old bull inside of you just from hanging around idiots, a-holes. Don't do it. Get away from them. Come on. Last one. Uh, that was the last one. Come on. Let's uh, let's go to this last verse, y'all. Come on. Let's finish this meal. We're going to jump out of the proverbs. Let's go Isaiah. I want Isaiah 5 and 20. 
Ooh, this is a good one, y'all. Come on, let's bring this thing home. Let's finish this meal. Isaiah King James 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good. See, when you call evil good and good evil, when you're out there saying that uh, KKK, I ain't got nothing to say about them. Uh -huh. I didn't. I ain't got nothing to say about them. But Black Lives Matter, oh my God, they want to tear down. They don't want to tear down America. The, that's some, I don't know everything about the organization, but let me tell you, the movement and the organization needs to be separated in the hearts and minds of everybody in America because everybody knows that uh, the, the Catholic Church had a huge scandal with little boys and little boy booty was in trouble all around the world because behind priests, excuse my French, but little boy booty was in trouble and we all knew it, but we all are all people who are Christians or Catholics did not leave the church. We did not denounce the church because of the scandal. We knew it was a, 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 a participation of few and not all. So the whole church didn't get denounced. Stop denouncing the whole movement of Black Lives Matter because the organization is corrupt. And whether it is or not, I don't know. But, because I'm not in that organization, and neither are you, half the people speaking. You don't know what's going on in the entertainment. Sometimes people take other groups' names, put them on their back, and go out and do things. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, separate the two. Just like we separated that church from that, that, that little situation, I want you to separate Black Lives Matter, the movement, the, the voices of America, from the organization. And for that organization, if you leave it astray, you will pay. You will pay. Amen. Amen. Come on, y'all. And good evil. The part that put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. See, you can't feed me salt and tell me it's sugar. You can't give me a pickle and tell me it was a watermelon. You know? The taste gonna tell me. The fruit will show. Come on. NIV. Walter. Those who call evil good and good evil. Who put darkness for light and light for darkness? Who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter? See, wrong is just wrong and right is just right. And if you are mad at reparations and all that stuff, they gave reparations to Jews. Uh, they gave reparations to Native Americans. So if you're against it, you should have been protesting the whole time. Don't get mad because black people want reparations now. We may be late to the party, but we want that bread. Huh? All right? New Living Testament. What sorrow for those who say that evil is good and good is evil? That dark is light and light is dark. That bitter is sweet and sweet is bitter. You can't call evil good and good evil. You can't say let's make America great again when it's never been great. It has had some great times. Uh, as Killer Mike, shout out to the brother, the boy's heart. Uh, uh, shout out to Co Candace Owen. I love that the summer child did on on on, on Revolt TV. Ti, bro, well, I'm with you, but come on, <laughs> listen, listen, let's get it up together, brother. We with you, but you want to get it together now. Uh, but uh, you can't. We had a good period when we were good. Shortly after the Civil War, I think he said about seven years, when black people, uh, and, and I forget the number, he said we went from like seven acres to 150 million acres or something like that. Some some strange number. Killer Mike has it. Uh, you didn't know, go watch it on the phone TV. Uh, but that was a good period for America and for black people as well. We were free and we started to get things. That period was a very short seven years. Uh, Jim Crow's and all that other stuff kicked in later, and, and the sentiment came back. Uh, the, 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 the dark ages of, uh, of America. We had a dark time in America. We cannot call it light and say let's make it great again when that was a dark period. It was dark. Let's not call it light and say we've always light because it was dark. And the Bible says when you call light dark, you call dark light. Woe to you. Woe to you or what sorrow to you. Let's read that last one. And the, the, the common English Bible says, doom, doom to those who call evil good and good evil, who present darkness as light and light as darkness, who make bitterness sweet and sweet bitterness. See, I tell you, America, we gonna have to call a spade a spade a spade a spade because the Bible said if you don't do that, 
woe to you, uh, sorrow to you, doom to you. Because if you lie to yourself, eventually lies will eat you alive. If you're lying to yourself, uh, if, 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 if you're big and you're lying to yourself about you go to the gym all the time, you eat right when you know you scarf down everything in the parking lot, and when you're in public with people, you're eating grapes, guess what? Them lies will eventually choke you down with uh, uh, morbidly being obese. The lies will get you. When you're over 40, you can't hide no lies. They show up on your butt tomorrow. Tell somebody you're in shape, watch your knee go out. Tell them you go to the gym and watch your belly roll from under your shirt. You know, you can't lie when you're over 40. Huh? You ought to get real about that thing. You realize when you're over 40, you got less time than I've already been here. So I need to get this thing right, and everything is showing up like light. Real light, no darkness. Ain't no shade, can't hide. No shade. Hey, y'all. It's Bible study, man. It's Wednesday. It's raining. It's a rainy week. And it's been a good one. Hey, I'm going to put something down here. If you are interested in changing America, man, you want to you, you wanna speak your, your mind, you want to be in a group with like minds. Now, I didn't say we all think alike. I said we have like minds. We all want to change America and realize we all need to change and some things need to happen. Go to this right here, the Great Room. Look that up right there on Facebook, the Great Room. Y'all get it now. Shout out to all the Great Room members. Hey, man, it's been another He Speaks with Kareem Walker. Hey, y'all have a good one. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night.